Okay, so um, thank you very much for inviting us to participate in this workshop. Um, Rodrigo, Amelia, thank you also to all the sponsors to, for making this possible. And today um, we are going to show you five projects uh, and we can call the lecture something like five houses and five pools. And our, the, the participants uh, from our studio here in Porto uh, are familiar with the topic of the pools because we are working on that. But uh, we want to show you some pieces of our work through uh, the presence of, of the water. Uh, first of all, I would like to start um, telling you the story behind this uh, statue, this uh, piece of sculpture. And this, is, this piece is, is called nowadays uh, the Barberini Faun, uh, Fauno uh, in Italiano. And uh, the, the story behind uh, this statue is quite uh, amazing. Um, in 17th, 17th uh, century, like um, 16 something, the Pope um, Barberini uh, wanted to, to do some, some works, some renovation works around the castle of Sant'Angelo in Rome. And they started digging the ground. They started like excavating to, uh, to prepare the, the works. And suddenly, lots of pieces, small pieces, and um, and parts of statues started to 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 appear, uh, buried under under the ground. And uh, one of those statues that that was buried under the ground was this one. And it was like uh, everybody was wondering, like, what what the hell is going on? Why why, why this is like buried under the ground? Uh, because uh, many of those pieces have had like a very um, high value in terms of art and they were wondering uh, how uh, could uh, this happen so what actually happened was, was that 1000 years before they found it 1000 years um, there, there had been um, uh, an attack from the barbarians uh, to the Romans and the, the Romans were uh, in, in, into that very castle and they were like under siege so they were uh, trying to to fight against the, 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 the attack uh, of the barbarians. And when they went out of, of, of weapons, like uh, projectiles or something to, to, to defend themselves, uh, they started throwing them everything they had uh, around. So they, they started uh, throwing all the statues and everything they had uh, through the window, trying to, yeah, to, to kill some barbarian. And one of those statues was this one. So when they when it, it, it was like that, and then it was buried under the ground for 1,000 years, and then they they discovered it, or they rediscovered it. And as it was one of the best pieces of that uh, buried uh, collection, uh, the Pope wanted to wanted to um, to restore it somehow. So he commissioned uh, he commissioned uh, the infant uh, terrible that was uh, Gian Lorenzo uh, Bernini to somehow um, fix it. So uh, it, it wasn't in, in the condition you, you see it now. It, had, um, it, it didn't have uh, one arm. It didn't have this, uh, this uh, leg also. So what uh, Bernini did was to, to put a, a new leg, but instead of putting the foot uh, in the place where it originally was, which is here, he put the foot a little bit higher, so it changed the position of the um, of the leg, so changing them completely the meaning of this statue because this was uh, originally a uh, kind of uh, drunken faun uh, sleeping after having some wine, and now uh, Bernini turned it into a let's say a erotic piece of of art or a very provocative uh, piece and we wanted to show you this because I think that, uh, well, in our work, we have worked quite a lot on top of uh, existing realities during like renovations. And this example is, uh, is one good example to, to illustrate uh, that what, what we want with our project. Because we, we, are, we have been working on top of existing realities, but when you add something, uh, this uh, shows how you can 
take the original piece uh, in, um, to another level? Or how you, can you, like, keeping the essence of uh, what you had before, um, change completely its meaning? Okay, so here you have like this kind of scar that shows um, shows where the original uh, statue was and um, and the new piece starts. Okay, so um, these five projects we are going to um, to show have shared some characteristics. Uh, the five of them were um, workplaces, and they were like uh, in in four or five cases were related to agriculture or farming, and uh, they were what I mean is that they were like engineered for uh, the best performance in terms of um, agricultural production. So they were like engineered uh, for for that, uh, like we say, like we see in here, like this kind of new farm in in the early. Uh, in uh, the age of when, when the United States uh, were like founded. And so uh, what we have to do is to, uh, in this five project, what we have done is to take, uh, transform the architecture of work uh, into the architecture of leisure, the architecture of living. So we have this kind of uh, machine of production uh, that has to that has to be turned into the, a machine of joy. So, we have uh, we give some of the spaces, um, but the only thing we do is just to have this kind of paradigm shift. So where the grass was uh, meant to be like food for animals, now it's just a space to to rest, space space for for pleasure. Uh, the water also, uh, I mean, these water deposits for rainwater and so on that were uh, intended to be uh, part of this uh, agricultural um, uh, function uh, now are more related to, to leisure. And this is one of the, of the, of the first, well, not one of the first, this is the first project uh, we will uh, talk about. So this is... Um, a Mastilla, which is, which is um, a traditional uh, Catalan country house. This is in the Catalan countryside, like one hour and a half away from Barcelona. And it's it was like nine around 900 square meters. And when we arrived in there, we saw this kind of dark um, spaces that were not for uh, people, but for animals or for tools. So they didn't need to have basic things like windows or ventilation. And shit. I'm trying to go back. Okay, so um, maybe it's okay. Maybe I will be around the computer. So um, yeah, so we have this this collection of, of rooms because uh, the first the first time we went there, it, it was a kind a kind of um, labyrinth, a kind of uh, maze for us. We we didn't even understand um, like. How are we ending up here? Because I mean, it was like a kind of chaos. So the first thing we had to to do was this kind of uh, radiography to 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 know whether the place. So we had up to twenty seven rooms, uh, <laughs> and we uh, we tried to to see what was behind that. And so we tried to to remove all the partition walls to keep just the the structure, the the, the real wall, walls. And uh, well, we uh, the, 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 in this typology, well, as well as in uh, most of the, let's say, um, architecture done without architects, it, it, you always have like uh, uh, the main building and then some kind of extensions and additions that happen over time uh, due to like uh, the, the needs that uh, the inhabitants have. So we have this main building, and then like. Uh, two kind of additions, and one one kind of weird thing was that when we arrived there, the people um, who was still living there uh, lived. Uh, they had like a 900 square meter 
house, but they lived only like in 40 meters because everything else was closed. So they had like this toilet and this bedroom, this kitchen, and that was it. So uh, one of uh, this this is the first the first um, project we did there. Um, one of the main goals uh, was to to give to provide with light and ventilation to all the spaces that obviously didn't have before. So we we had um, a, a courtyard before, but we, we, we did was to to remove to take off the roof of, of this part in, in the very core of a, of a house. So it would provide a cross ventilation and, and light to all the spaces uh, surrounding it. And one of them, uh, the client wanted like different um, well, um, things to, to, to achieve. And uh, one of those was that um, it had to, to be a table uh, for, for 20 people uh, because he wanted to gather like all of his friends around so he could like uh, he could like hold uh, parties and not only that but uh, he could invite people like on holiday and so we started um, cleaning everything we, we we left just the 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 walls uh, we opened uh, some arches that that were closed and we tried to, uh, maybe I, I will sit down and do it manually because, you, you don't? Okay, okay, so please go back to slides. Yeah, next one. <laughs> so in here, you see, um, this this is the central uh, courtyard, the patio I, I, I was talking about before. And so we removed this part of the wall. We put some uh, columns to hold um, uh, the, the load. And so we provide some light and ventilation to, to this space. So this was, this was the, uh, that project with yeah, this central space, this double height, and this was like the, um, the, main, the main dining. But suddenly, this guy came. This is Bart Lancaster in the in the movie Swimmer, and th this movie um, is uh, well. I don't want to do like a spoiler, but it's <laughs> he's like um, having some cocktails in a swimming pool, and suddenly uh, he has this crazy idea to uh, going back home only. Um, using swimming pools, uh, like he realizes that he has like many friends with backyard swimming pools. So he says like, well, this is a kind of river. So I will go home uh, only use, uh, swimming from swimming pool to swimming pool. And the movie, uh, yes, talks about the situations that um, happen around the swimming pool and also about his life. But well, you will see the movie if, if, you, if you want. So why uh, is this guy on the screen? It's because. Well, this, this this project had outside a little deposit for rainwater, and it was used for uh, well to to for for farming. But and they they wanted uh, to to convert it into like a little swimming pool. But uh, it was like outside the house, so we were thinking about what what water means and to have what having water uh, by your side means and. Uh, we well talking talking to each other in, in our studio is like we we really really um, like uh, how the water uh, affects the space. It's not um, um, well. It obviously uh, brings like a moving, uh, changing atmosphere uh, with its reflections and and it, it changes completely the mood of the space where it is and especially the, the swimming pools. So not only that, it's like um, even if you don't use it, even if you don't uh, don't uh, swim, uh, it's like just having a swimming pool there um, brings like this kind of um, summer uh, mindset. So, and this is uh, something we really wanted to to put into the the, the project. So, 
how can you put a uh, swimming pool into um, a building of this uh, kind of walls and so on. So we thought about uh, just using um, the shape that was already given by somebody else and just to pour some water there. So what we did was to, in here, this central um, courtyard uh, had now the shape of an L. And so we, we when where the big dining table was, is where the, the water goes. So now we have, um, the, in the beginning, this was a kind of device uh, that allowed um, light to go through the windows and also uh, a, um, a connection for circulations. But now it's not only that, it's the place where you go. It's not the, it, you don't just go through it, but you go there. And so it's really the center of, uh, of the house. This is this is a double height space. Well, you will see it now in the in the pictures. And well, uh, about the other layout. Uh, well, we 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 planned like uh, there are many living rooms. There are um, many rooms, and all the rooms have its own bathroom because they they are uh, we understand them as like sort of autonomous pieces. But well, I will talk about it a little later. But yeah. Here's the, the ground floor and this kind of canopy um, with vegetation for for exterior. So it seems it works now. So I, if if it doesn't, I, I will tell you to. So yes, this this was uh, one sketch we did just with with uh, photocopies and um, a pencil, but it was to to illustrate the, the intentions we we had to to bring light to to this space through these windows, but. Here on top of it, we still have the roof. So, what we did was to to take this roof out, and so we have this. So, we turned an interior space into an exterior one. So, but you still feel like you have you are like kind of inside. And um, so here's uh, well, this 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 is a traditional farm so, uh, country house. So it has like a double pitched roof, and well, they said uh, that the regulations don't allow uh, to to change the shape of uh, of the volume. Let's say, the, I mean, the, the the form of the building uh, have to be has to be kept. So you, we couldn't remove the the roof. So what we did was uh, to it, when you draw this, you obviously have a roof. So you don't. Ch I, I mean, they can't tell you you are changing the volume because you still have a roof. But uh, in the regulations. You can't find uh, the line where it says that this roof, this roof has has to be able to stop the rain. So you 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 well, this is what we ended up doing, and almost by by accident we we found this this, this way to 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 define a, a half transparent uh, roof. But as it has this kind of grid, um, it provides like a very um, nice atmosphere uh, with with its uh, shadows with like this grid on the floor and the lines on the walls and it goes very much in line with with uh, this change in atmosphere I, I was talking about uh, when mentioning the the water and here also you see like this uh, new structure uh, holding this 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 part of the wall and this is the, the central area and some spaces around So, um, when we thought about this solid, uh, this uh, so, sorry, this uh, house, uh, in the beginning they they were not going to live there. I mean, it was uh, like a weekend house only and only for for holidays. So um, uh, we, we thought about it like uh, a kind of um, device to provide an endless summer or something like that, and. So we we propose a series of spaces where you can just rest and um, feel like kind of almost being tired of having rest, you know, like like just um, uh, like a full vacation. So uh, all the as I was saying before, uh, all the rooms have are autonomous. Like they have their their own bathroom, their own toilet, and and it's plenty of um, 
of, of living rooms also. So uh, we liked very much the idea of um, imagining like ourselves with maybe with our couples or families um, having um, well being on holidays in in this house and just uh, seeing each other just for dinner or just in the pool. But then you go back to your room and it's like a kind of autonomous uh, thing. So, yeah, I will show you some of this, um, some of these living areas, and we well, as for the materials, we we used uh, local um, local tiles and local. I mean, uh, this this is a, like a mixture of of the uh, terracotta floors that were there before, because well, it it, it still had to look a little bit like. Um, like um like a country house because it's in the country and we well we, we thought it was nice to 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 keep the 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 materials of of, of this area because they are quite famous for it uh, for their ceramics in, in in this part of of catalonia so as for the um, the doors the, the, it was like full of doors and what we did was to it was quite complex to circulate through the ground floor and the other uh, floors. So uh, instead of um, um, trying to direct the circulation with uh, like not very uh, not many doors, we what we did was to open as much doors as we could. So uh, as a result, uh, walls are more transparent, so you 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 know much better where to where to go. And we also have these kind of pieces that cross from one room to, to another. Uh, this, is the, this is the other patio. This is the, the, the courtyard that, uh, that was there and the, and the room just next to it. And this is uh, the outer space. And now it's more full of vegetation. That is what we wanted. So this is another country house as well. And well, not exactly. I will tell you now. Uh, why? And uh, this is like just when we finished the, the construction. Now it looks a little bit different because we put some canopies around and they have like vegetation, but this is the condition it had when we finished the construction. So this is what we what we saw when we first uh, went there. And so in here, the funny thing is that this is uh well there there is a uh, like a catalog of uh, like a list of um country houses that have to be uh, preserved and kept like uh, as a list of um heritage like of local architecture and so you have like country houses from 300 years ago and then you you have also this and this uh was a very cheap construction not even old it it, it didn't have like 100 years or so it was quite new uh, with a very cheap brick construction and a roof of uh, fiber cement and this interior uh, which was just the the place to 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 put the tractor and then the roof with like uh, prefab um, um, concrete beams and well what I mean is like it, it was obviously not some space with an a value uh, with uh, from the point of view of architecture or heritage but anyhow uh, it was on the list so we had to to keep uh, the shape and just to to build in, in its interior well so this kind of um, it was for, uh, space for for work for farming then it, it was space for like rave parties and because it was abandoned for a long time and now uh, it had to workers the house so one of the main issues here was that it was in the middle of nowhere and it's surrounded by like um, cereal crops so it's like quite quite flat and it's it's like uh, it was this kind of box in the middle of, of nowhere so it's when when you came out from the house you were like just there in the countryside so we we, we felt that we should work a little bit um the threshold let's say on the transition between like the open countryside and uh, 
the house. And even more in this case, because it's, it's like uh, flat, like a plane. So what we did uh, in order to, to do that, uh, what we did was to, to uh, create uh, this uh, kind of surrounding. So we put uh, up, um, this, this part to, to park the cars. And also, uh, we, what we did was try to create a landscape, a kind of artificial past uh, with, uh, if you want, kind of postmodern approach, like putting some like uh, amphitheater here just to 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 create something to hold to something that would help uh, the house to be like more uh, rooted into the ground and some yeah and another thing we did was to to excavate uh, one meter in here so when you go out you feel like uh, you are uh, especially if you if you sit down you have a kind of low wall that serves like a shelter so you you are not like just outside in the middle of, of nowhere. And then we have this kind of more broken piece, which is a swimming pool that also helps not only to create like uh, um, immediate landscape, but to, to, to define the relationship between this house and the landscape. So this is it. And this is the, the wall I was talking about, where it is, it's one meter high. And it also allows um, allows us to to have one extra level. I will show you later on on the on the uh, model. And this is a picture of a model. And this is a picture on a on a foggy day. Uh, this I mean this these windows. We didn't need this one, but there was a window in here in the previous uh, house. So we had to 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 keep not only the shape of the house, but the amount of windows and its um, proportions. So what ha what ended up happening is that uh, when we started building this, um, it was a very uh, badly built construction. So with some movement, it just collapsed. So we didn't uh, have uh, the house. So uh, what we did was to, uh, we, or we, what we have to, what we had to to do was to uh, rebuild like a reproduction of something that uh, didn't have any kind of value but so we, we did this kind of uh, fake um, country house that uh, was responding uh, uh, to to the regulations which is kind of fun because I mean it's like not only something that uh, we just found but something that it's uh, like a kind of uh, fake architecture of like a reproduction and it was kind of fun so yeah this is this is the pool and how the pool uh, it's like the, the end of the of the surroundings of the of the house so yes uh, this is this is where we excavated one one meter as you, as you can see in here and so uh, this allows us to split uh, this like into half uh, levels, and so uh, because they, they had um, they had the clients had a program, but we had just the cubic meters we had. So uh, they they wanted many things, but we didn't have uh, such space. So this is, this was one tool to to um, not just to create like. Um, um, exterior sheltered um, space, but to 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 put one extra level. So because we have this one, two, and three, where uh, you could uh, have only two. So uh, this is quite simple. So we have one courtyard that is that goes opening up uh, once you are um, yes. I mean it has like is this big in this level and a little smaller here is like a two level courtyard and. Behind the courtyard, we have uh, the staircase, and around this core, we have the well, the rooms and, and everything. So uh, this is here. You can see this kind of uh, artificial past we have in the, in the exterior, and you you go uh, through the kitchen, which is this piece, and then you go. It, it's like a kind of spiral that uh, ascends to to the top, 
And uh, in the materials, we have uh, all the load-bearing elements uh, are have this kind of rough uh, texture, and the the other ones that are like just uh, cl more clean and smooth. And so this is this is like a kind of uh, yeah walkway uh, to the horizon, and this was one of the patios. So we have this courtyard there. These are like two. Two twin rooms that have double height and they have a little study on top of it, on top of them. And well, this is this is just <laughs> yeah, back please. No, next one, next. Yes, this is the stairs. Uh, this is the last part of the of the stairs, the last steps that go to the main uh, uh, bedroom, which is. Uh, Rodrigo, which is this? Well, this is the uh, this is actually the the bathroom of the main bedroom. Yeah, next please. So uh, this is also a country house. So it was a place for to work, and now it's uh, a weekend house. Uh, in this case, for a for a friend. And but the, there's a there's a big. Um, there's a big difference, uh, which is that in this case, we, it, it is not a, an isolated piece, but um, it's a house between party walls. So they sh it, it, it shares this wall and the other one with, with some neighbors. And uh, so it doesn't have this um, direct relationship to the landscape or to the, to the, yeah, to the countryside. But it had a good thing, though. Uh, and that was this terrace, which is a kind of uh, yeah free open space that uh, help us uh, to develop the the program. And so we have this old uh, house, and then somebody did this extension uh, some time, uh, and then there, there there was this terrace as well. And when we, our first approach was very, very much conditioned uh, with the budget because it was a very tight budget. So in the ground floor levels, uh, our friend said something like, uh, you just leave it, leave it as it is. And let's focus on the, could you go back two slides? No, because it's like going, yeah, here. This is, um, this is the ground floor. Yes, <laughs> I mean the text is the text is obviously wrong. So this is this is the ground floor, and in the ground floor we did just nothing. And in uh, moreover, in this part, like the the slab was in a very bad condition between the ground floor and the first floor. So we just took it, uh, we, we knocked it, uh, we hose it here down, and uh, so we have a double height here because it's cheaper to have just one height than having two. And not only that, it's like the entrance to a house, so it, it, it worked fine. This was the the, um, the next level with a spiral staircase, uh, two master bedroom, another bedroom, and study. And then top level uh, with a kitchen, terrace, with a table, uh, another bedroom, and living room. But uh, the swimmer came again. And uh, yes, I have to mention this. This the 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 last the last floor the last floor the top floor of of, of all the traditional houses in this um, tiny villages that are in this area have this kind of arches. I mean, the windows of uh, like ground floor and first floor are square, but the last level have has always this kind of of arches. And yeah, this. So we. Uh, when thinking of the relationship between the interior and the exterior, in this case the terrace, not the landscape, uh, we thought that uh, we could use this as a motif that uh, could be like repeated uh, to to define uh, 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 this relationship in a quite transparent way. So uh, you can see you can see this. This was a, a preliminary model we did with, uh, and we used. This motif not only in the facade but also in the interior uh, load-bearing walls. Yeah, you can see here a picture. And 
yes, this is a model. This is a quite interesting one because it's like it has almost the same amount of window uh, as, um, as well. I mean, it's it's quite transparent this this relationship between the interior and the exterior. So. Um, Two things happened here. Like, uh, yes, uh, as I said, uh, we were uh, thinking of uh, how could we really uh, enjoy this exterior part. So, uh, as you, I don't know. Well, may, you may remember. I, I've just uh, showed it. Uh, there was a, a room here, but um, what happened was to we were talking to a client and we were talking to each other. How what, if that room uh, had um, I mean, it was necessary or not, or if it was uh, maybe better just to do a little swimming pool to just to dip in. You can't swim very much, but it's still water, and and yeah, this is what we did. So uh, this room went uh, to the ground floor uh, where we didn't plan uh, nothing in the beginning, but but uh, yeah, so we pushed the client uh, to to move this bedroom down and we could do this and well actually he's very happy with that decision yeah so this is um this is, is the second floor so you have all those arches that connect the interior and the exterior so this is a kind of single room where this part has a roof and this part has not so it's like a kind of whole thing and it works can you go back two slides, please? Thank you. Uh, so here it's, it's like, it, it looks quite a lot like the model, I mean, in terms of um, openness to the exterior. Uh, I don't know if you, uh, well, I, I mentioned the, the tiles in the in the first project uh, uh, we, we, I showed uh, that were uh, like very uh, traditional uh, from that area. And this, this house is not very far away from there. And as um, I mentioned as well, our client didn't have much money. So uh, what happened was that uh, we knew that in the first, in the in the in the other project, there there, there were like some boxes of tiles left uh, in a in a hut. So we told this client maybe you can call the other one and buy him uh, some tiles at a good price because they they don't need them. So this is what happened, and and these tiles are, um, well, the result of that that uh, client to client trade. So yeah, this is this is the water, and this is the same that seen from from outside. So as we go down, uh, we have in the first floor the the master bedroom free space, like study, and then the spiral staircase turns into a step uh, staircase, like a normal staircase. This is the master bedroom. This is the spiral staircase that, that becomes uh, this stair. And this is the double height space because the uh, where the uh, where the slab was, it was a slab here. And this is the ground floor level. And instead of doing just nothing, we um, put this stair and in here we do a double double bedroom that means that it's for four people and you can have four, two double beds and it's uh yeah for friends that come for the weekend and they share a bathroom so this is what you see when you open the door uh this is the the, the main entrance with this double height and we took the that motif of the arch up to the exterior of the house with with uh yes with this very long arch and yes, next one. All these elements uh, had to be white, but um, the city council here didn't like the project. But well, city, the, well, let's, let's say the village hall, they, they, they didn't like the project. And, but they didn't know how to stop it or how to, mm, I don't know. How to do some? How to try, try to 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 do something? But <laughs> and so what? What we they found this uh, color chart that it's not available uh, in the regulations. So when we when you, you check the regulations, it, it says it says nothing about it. So uh, they said that we had to paint all the window frames, uh, all the 
uh, metal parts and metal chimneys in some of uh, the colors of that chart, uh, and uh, they couldn't be white. I mean, that means including the windows, and all the windows of that street are white. But it's just they they didn't like the the project, and that's what that was the the only way they had to to yeah. So next one. Um, this is this is in a very very special place. Uh, this is uh, the Ebro uh, River Delta. Uh, it's like a, a very big uh, river in Spain, and it has this kind of flat, like infinite uh, farming land. Uh, and it's it has a very tiny houses like this or like this. Um, those those houses were for uh, farmers just to for them to to sleep and for their families and for to for the tools uh, to farm the land but maybe it's worth uh, explaining a little more uh, where we are so uh, this is Iberian Peninsula this is Spain so this is a Mediterranean and Atlantic Ocean and this all of this uh, is the Ebro Delta so we have here the the, the Pyrenees and all the water from the south part of the Pyrenees and all the water from all this area ends up in this river that goes here. So all the sediments have uh, created this kind of platform that goes into the, 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 the sea. And it's, go one back, please. Go back. Yes. It's this. So this is almost completely flat, and there is there's, there are like uh, two cities, and then um, lots of um, tiny houses. What? Oh, can you go one back? Yeah. So this is the kind of landscape you you find there. Uh, the the plots are very clearly defined, and then you have these kind of tiny, tiny, tiny constructions around. Uh, but it's kind of difficult to be like orientated there because you are driving uh, without any reference. So it's it's kind of difficult to to walk there. And this this aerial picture is just to show you how this landscape changes. Because um, I didn't mention it, but uh, this is rice. They, they 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 have lots of rice in this area. It's it's a very a, a good um, area for rice because what they do is to this, this, they flood everything, so it looks like I don't know, like this kind of uh, Vietnam or Thailand things, like a sheet of of water, like a, like a mirror. So everything's like flooded, and they they have this system of of canals that are open and closed, so they can flood everything. So next one, please. Yeah. So you have this kind of landscape. You can still see the size of each plot, and you have the paths and roads, and th this, this is one of the branches of the river, but you have this kind of, uh, yes, like a, like a kind of mirror surface. So uh, this is the house when we arrived, and uh, it was a, a tiny house, as I mentioned, and then we have this concrete surface um, that uh, it's called era in Spanish, which is like something like threshing floor or something like that. It's to it was meant to. Yeah, next, here you go. This is the surface. So all the houses have this surface that was used to uh, for multiple purposes, uh, being the main one to separate the grain from the rest of the parts of the of the of the rice uh, plant. And also, it it worked. Uh, it used just to work as a, a multifunctional space because this never gets uh, muddy. This is how they separate the the grain from. First of all, they it's like they they smash it and then they they do this because the grain is heavier than than the pieces of of wheat. So the wind is the wind does the job. So in here, we. Uh, it comes to our mind um, this project, this car by Mario Bellini. This is this car, this car called uh, the Ka Cara Sutra. It's like, uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, this is uh, like back in 1972 or so. And so it, 
back then uh, the fastest the fastest the car was the better and so the cars uh, used to be like or they tried to be comfortable but they had to be like efficient in terms of uh, aerodynamics and in terms of uh, being able to go like fast from point A to point B. So he proposed this this car, which is uh, completely useless in terms of aerodynamics. So it's not uh, thought to 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 go fast, but it's uh, planned just to enjoy the trip. So you could stand up, open this hatch, and take some pictures of a uh, of a landscape, or you could either. Uh, just be there laying and sleeping or doing whatever you want and uh, it was actually um, now w when you see where the car industry is going to it, it's it's like kind of a very uh, visionary project actually the Renault uh, space is uh, kind of based on this this uh, project that even it even doesn't have a, a will to drive so we like this because it has many features, but it's still a car. So in, in the, um, that uh, threshing floor in the era, I mentioned that this um, um, concrete platform, we, we wanted to keep it, but just change the way it is used. So we have this house, and then uh, we had uh, this platform right here. So what um, we proposed the client was to to yeah to include a pool in the in the project so this uh surface uh would be in between two uh points uh, uh that tension the, um, the circulation so you you are like you, you will for sure use this space because it's in between two uh main um points of a project so he said okay Let's do it, but let's do it uh, in a respectful way. So what we did was um, uh, like a kind of small rainwater deposit that could l look like um, uh, yeah something related to uh, agriculture. And he said, "Okay, yes, but uh, when my kids are like uh, s like screaming, yelling, and jumping into the water, and I want to have some rest." Uh, I would like to have a little uh, distance. So what we did was to we, we already had these trees in here. So we um, we put the, um, the pool behind the trees, so the trees uh, could work as a kind of filter between the the house and the and the pool. And so as for the house, it's it's very straightforward. We have always the same window that it's repeated again and again. We have two levels in the house, like the living room and. Um, kitchen and we have this central module that you can walk around uh, with the stairs and some shelves and then in the upper level we have just two two bedrooms so it's, there, there's long, uh, one one thing also that uh, this part from here like the original house the footprint of the orig original house was uh, not this wide but this wide so uh, this part in here is, is an extra but that's just because in the we found out that uh, in the papers uh, of the uh, register of the house, like in the in, a, in the in the town, uh, it said that it was bigger than uh, what it actually was. So what we did was to add, uh, yes, this extra part, but only in the ground floor. So we could have, um, uh, yeah. So we could have this skylight on top of the kitchen and these stairs that go down from the terrace of the top level. So here, it's just two bedrooms. And also, uh, so the house works, uh, yeah, I'll, house works like a kind of double porch. So we have this uh, part uh, um, covered with the uh, actual roof, but this part uh, covered by a light structure that will have uh, vegetation on top of it, and this, Yes, so this is, uh, yeah, these pictures, uh, we, we've just finished this work, so these pictures are taken by us uh, with the iPhone, and we are not very good photographers, and but I think they are like good enough to to understand this uh, space. Here we have, a, yeah, another fireplace, and the, the era, the threshing floor, we, 
we work with and uh, the lower level of the of the house and in here you can see like the two thicknesses uh, playing together the, the original one and the and the one we extended and uh, you may have seen like many uh, fireplaces in uh, in the projects uh, we we've, we've been showing and and yes we actually like to include them in the project because um, it reminds us uh, well if for us it's like actually, well in other words it's completely useless to have a fireplace because if you want it uh, for the light the electric light works uh, much better if you want it uh, for heating uh, the heaters works in a much more efficient way uh, if you want it to cook uh, you have a kitchen where you can cook much better and in a cleaner way it smells but so well, what's the point but for us it's like the fire has this kind of I don't know like animal thing that uh, you can stare at the fire like for for hours it's a kind of uh, irrational thing that gives yeah uh, kind of mindset. Uh, it's a little bit like the like the water, you know. Like you look at the water or you look at the fire, and it's always the same, but it's always different. It's it's like the same the same situation. Okay, so this is the central module with the shelves, and this is the um, skylight I was mentioning before. Same same thing, but it's like kind of burnt because we are. <laughs> These photographs are taken by us. So we, yeah, we have these stairs that lead up to the top floor. And outside, we have these equal size windows. And those trees, so we have this kind of series of uh, columns. Uh, can you, yeah. So when you, uh, when you see, when you are kind of in line with them, they define a kind of uh, invisible wall that really, um, and closest the um, space around, but you you when you see them, um, uh, of course, uh, like in a straight way, you you just see the space in between. So this is like lower level. This is at the level of the of the of the farming land, and this is this is uh, the level of the access to the to the house. And in here, behind the trees, we have the pool. So here you can see like the house, this um, this structure. For the shadow, this gap with vegetation and the little pool. So this is like the end of the of the way, and this is uh, where you swim uh, from the well. Swim, maybe just go in. You don't have much room for swimming, much room for swimming. And so this is like the this this filter seen from the pool, and can you? And the same from this surface that it's nothing but can be anything. And this is, to finish with this project, um, it's quite impressive. Uh, well, it, it, it was for us because we, weren't, we, went, uh, we were not used to, to see this kind of uh, things uh, going on. How the landscape changes in the year with uh, this thing of the canals and they open the, the, the little doors and everything's flooded and so here it looks like it's like I don't know just ground and then can you thank you then it gets flooded so the, you have like the reflection of everything it's like you are you you drive there and you are surrounded by a, a huge huge enormous mirror and but then it becomes yeah, the next one, please. Okay, it becomes like a prairie, like green grass, and and this happens like two or three times each year, and it's quite quite amazing. Yeah, next. So this is this is um this is just to introduce the client of the last project uh, we will uh, show, and she's uh, well. Th this house uh, is uh, well. The name of this house is Casaluz, and it's Casaluz because the client is a lady. Uh, who is called Luth. And <laughs> no, I mean, I say this because Luth in Spanish means light. So, uh, yeah, people thought like this was like a, a kind of house of light, but it's just because it was her name. I mean, if it was like uh, Margarita, it would have been Casa Margarita. Um, so she uh, she bought this, this um, uh, house in a very, very tiny, um, 
um, village very, very close to the Portuguese border in Extremadura, uh, a region of um, eastern, uh, western Spain. And, uh, and yeah, so it was in a very bad condition. And there they were uh, um, several houses on sale because uh, that um, villages are sadly getting like uh, abandoned because people is going to the cities. So they are like half, like they are like empty cities and or villages and she wanted a house but for her uh, one of the most important um, things the house uh, had to have was uh, a garden a little garden a little piece of nature uh, into the house so after looking for a long time she she found uh, this one that has uh, this this uh, kind of backyard with a fig tree and a very nice um, views to to the mountains uh, next one. so we did this project where you have this uh, courtyard courtyard in the in the center and when you are uh, in the kitchen like in here you are like in between two two green areas and they provide also like with the leaves uh, the movement and you see the change of the seasons like in, in the very core of your house next one so she wanted a house in Madrid in the center of Madrid, and but he, always, always with a garden, of course. She, she needed a garden, so it was uh, very difficult to find um, a house in the center of Madrid with a garden. So uh, she found uh, this uh, kind of house that proposes a, a very initial situation. So I will try to explain. So this, this well. This is like a kind of ruin of a laundry laundry room, laundry house, and this is the garden, and this is a big building. Maybe in the next picture you will understand it better. Yeah. So this is the building, and this is the garden, and this piece of here is the the laundry. So this building um, belonged uh, before to a to a family, and they 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 shared um, a garden in here. And they shared also a place to, to wash the clothes and linen and so on, like a laundry room there. And yeah, so and this is how it was uh, before we 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 found some pictures of, of the previous condition of, of the place. Uh, next, and this is how it was when we first saw it. So it was uh, in a very bad condition. But this is not. What defines the, the initial condition of this is that the building, which is here on top of this, uh, no longer belongs no longer belongs to the same family. Like they they split the building in different uh, units and they, they, they sold it. So uh, what happened with the um, with the garden is that uh, instead of being part of some of the units of the building, it was uh, in the same unit as this little shop. This is where the street is. This is like a like a shop with a basement in here, and with um, opening to to the to the garden. And then you had this little construction, which are which were the ruins of of the washing of the washing uh, uh, laundry laundry room. So uh, if you if you take this space and this space. Um, the addition is the same amount of square meters our client had in at her house. So, uh, and, and that were uh, her needs. So, what we had to do was to split the house in two parts. So, this project uh, we call it like uh, house in two parts. So, uh, we had to first of all decide where uh, where to put what, and after after that, how to connect this part. And, and these other parts. So we have, yeah, this is basement, this is ground floor, this is a little lower, but but I mean, it not not much, not much lower. And and this is the uh, the piece of the um, laundry room. Uh, next one, please. So, and this is the project. So what we did was to, in this part, put the main kitchen, and downstairs in the basement, uh, a bedroom with a toilet. And in here, uh, we put like um, 
living, but also a guest room, or, or also it could work as um, a bedroom, uh, full uh, bathroom with a, a shower uh, bathtub, kind of shower bathtub. And uh, what happens in between is that we used this, which is a pool, as a bridge between this and this. So uh, regarding the garden, we just did um, three, th three things, three things. One of those were, uh, was uh, just leave the trees that uh, were already there and plant, uh, plant, uh, put more plants, uh, more vegetation. So we have this kind of uh, ground here and then build this kind of uh, pure platform uh, of concrete and to put um, the um, swimming pool in a way that connects you, that leads you from, uh, from, from this part of the house to this part of the house. And it's quite funny because uh, a relative, um, we, we, didn't, we didn't talk, uh, we didn't uh, tell uh, Luth, our client, about the story of the movie The Swimmer and our, well, our staff. <laughs> But uh, a relative of her asked her like something like, "But are you out of your mind? I mean, this is this is not even a house. I mean, this is this used to be uh, an office. This is this is like nothing. And how are you going to go in winter from from one part to the other one?" And her answer was like, "It's uh, it's quite obvious. I will swim. So it's like I will go swimming from this part to to this part." And I think in the pictures. Yeah, you can see like we we wanted a very tight, a very close connection between the edge of the pool and and the house, and so this is uh, this is under the, um, the the let's say the, the exterior pavilion in the garden, the laundry room, and this is this is the the building, and this is where you come out from from the building. So you walk by the pool. And you come to the other part of the house, and this is what I was mentioning that this is like only uh, 70 centimeters. It's quite narrow, so to 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 force this relation with with water, and also uh, because th this is a bathroom to to I don't know to have like one water here another water here, and to have everything very much very very connected. This is a um, concrete platform that reminds us a little bit the um, th threshing floor we mentioned before. It's like uh, an abstract. Um, playing on the ground, just a white surface, and this uh, hopefully will become like more wild vegetation. We what we we don't want like a kind of uh, very uh, plant garden, but we want it to look wild. But it will happen over the years. Uh, and in contrast with this sharp edge of of the um, yeah of this abstract uh, platform. And this is inside uh, what um, uh, this is inside the, the the laundry room, the former laundry room. So this is the guest room, and this is the bathroom, and we have this kind of in interior atmosphere with uh, when the sun comes in. Very summery. Well, the pictures are terrible, but well, I I, I, I warned you that <laughs> we're taken by as not professional pictures. And this is this is the, the main street. So you, you come down here. This is the main kitchen. And this is uh, how you go out. Uh, well, this is the same, but from the other point of view. And from here, you go down to the basement. And here we, we well, we talking about, especially about the bathrooms and uh, uh, the relation with water. Uh, we have, obviously, swimming pools, but we, we have another kind of uh, relationship um, with water, which is like on a daily basis. So uh, we have we were in charge of the architecture section of the um, of uh, Apartamento magazine. I don't know if you know the, the publication. It's uh, well, it's an international uh, magazine that uh, you can find. Find, and so each um, twice a year, each six months, we have a conversation with uh, an architect uh, we like, and um, or uh, on. A conversation on an architect or an artist we like, and always uh, talking about houses um, and houses they they built from the for uh, themselves um, in most of the cases. So in this case, uh, we couldn't obviously talk to him, but uh, we talked to the responsible for, from from the uh, Cesar Manrique Foundation. Cesar Manrique is um, 
for for those of you that don't know it, uh, he's um, an artist uh, from Lanzarote in the Canary Islands, and he he helped quite a lot to define what uh, Lanzarote of today is. And well, he did lots of interventions in the landscape and also in architecture. And in this in this uh, in this um, lecture, we we bring uh, Cesar Manrique. Uh, because of uh, his bathrooms. I mean, w for us, from the very beginning, the toilets and bathrooms uh, have been not like the last um, piece of the, of the layout, but just a room where you can also bath or use the toilet or whatever. So they should have um, the same uh, good natural conditions of ventilation and, and lighting as, as the other rooms, because, and this is from uh, like uh, Thurston Manrique, uh, he, he said, like, well, you, you, you should be able to even have a meeting in the bathroom because they have to be, like, uh, very uh, good spaces as well. And so for us, uh, and he said something like, um, bathrooms are important because at the end of the day, um, before you go to bed, this is the last place where you are. In, and when you wake up, this is the first place uh, that you visit. And so, and you spend many hours there, like uh, with, I don't know, like sh uh, brushing your teeth or whatever. So uh, they should be very pleasant because uh, it, um, it, um, you spend more conscious hours there maybe than in your bedroom because in your bedroom you just sleep, but there you are awake. So uh, yes, it makes you think of the hierarchy of, of the ventilation and light conditions of the pieces a house, a house has. Uh, so yeah, these are, these are examples of of some houses um, of him, and also it's important the relationship with the landscape and the exterior. Uh, obviously, in the Canary Islands, they have this uh, fantastic weather where you don't have even to put a glass and you can just leave it as it is. And we are not there, but we we use this. Um, as um, as a reference always uh, when we when we work with with bathrooms. So in here, this is this is the the bathroom and this is a kind of sunken shower bathtub, and this is the close um, uh, relationship it has with uh, with this long swimming pool that uh, leads you from one part of the house to the other one. And uh, yeah, I think. Uh, this is it. So, yeah, thank you for your attention. <laughs>